Good morning everyone and welcome to New Year's Eve, the last day of 2022 and my what a year it's been, it really has. I hope everyone's okay this morning, um, we've now got 662 family members which is wonderful, humbling and I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to do another food review this morning and this food review is from Aldi and it says I'm new. Cooks in 15 minutes, crisp and golden pretzel cod, cod nuggets. Succulent and flaky cod pieces coated in a crunchy pretzel crumb. And there it is. There it is. Two hundred degrees in a in an oven for fifteen minutes. Or gas max oven for fifteen minutes. Ingredients are cod fifty five percent, wheat flour, rapeseed oil, water starch, wheat gluten, rice flour, potato starch, salt yeast, maize flour, acidity regulator, sodium hydroxide, and concentrated whey protein. Your allergy warnings for this one are fish, wheat and milk. And this is cod caught in the North East Atlantic, Barents Sea, Norwegian Sea, Spitsbergen and Bear Island, Iceland and Faroe Grounds, Catch Method, Trolls, Hook and Lines. Sains, gill nets and similar nets and they have been independently certified the MSCS standard for well managed sustainable fishery. The nutritional information is there should anyone wish to stop the video and take a look and at this point I would also like to welcome new subscribers Andy Sim and Juan Moreau, thank you so much for being here. It means a lot. It really does. I'm also going to try this. By the way, they are one pounds ninety nine pence from Aldi. Two hundred and sixty four grams, and this is two pounds from Asda. And it's from the sauce shop and it is Brussels sprout ketchup. Take your Christmas dinner to a new next level with the ultimate Christmas condiment. Sharp, sweet and lightly spiced and one that you'll want on that turkey and stuffing. The ingredients are Brussels sprout, 61% sugar, white grape vinegar, onion, salt, garlic and spices. Shake well before use and then store in the refrigerator and use within 12 weeks. See if we can get in it. That's the, that's the million dollar question with these things. There we go. Right. Give that a good shake. Put that up there and right that away. Pour some in this dish. Smells absolutely fine. And it does smell of Brussels sprouts, I've got to say. Hardly surprising, really. And that's what that one looks like, folks. That is the Brussels sprout ketchup. And here are the cod nuggets. So, let's see, I'll just cut one in half so we can see what they look like inside. And that looks quite nice. 
it really does look nice. The pretzel coating has a really nice crunch to it. It's got a lovely texture, flavour, and the cod inside is, is beautiful. Oh, so white. It, it is really, really good. Can't complain about them at all. That's what they look like before they cut open. They are absolutely lovely. They really are. No complaints whatsoever. Right. Let's try it with a bit of Brussels sprout ketchup. As you can see, there's the sprout ketchup. That's very sweet, but it also has a sour side to it, which I'm sure a lot of people will like. Try some on it too. There is the Brussels sprout ketchup. Can't really taste any spiciness in it, but overall it's really good. No complaints about that one either. The coating on these cock chunks is perfectly seasoned and the cod inside is, is it's amazing. It really is. So if you see these uh, in Aldi, one ninety nine. There's twelve of them. They're worth trying. They are really nice. Something I would definitely buy again. Very enjoyable. The Brussels sprout ketchup is fine too, but I wouldn't buy it again. But I'm glad that I've tried it. You 
don't have to sit and watch me eat them all, which I am going to do. But these I am new from Aldi, £1.99. They're great, they're absolutely great. No problem at all, and I will give these a 10 out of 10. The Brussels sprout ketchup. I'll give that 7 out of 10. It's not unpleasant. But it's not. Not particularly to my liking, my taste. And on that note, guys and girls, it's New Year's Eve. And I would like to wish you all a very, very happy 2023. We all, well not all, but a lot of people make resolutions. New Year's resolutions on how they're going to change and things that are going to be different. My New Year's resolution for 2023 is to just be myself. Be the best me that I can be. And that's quite simple. So to everyone who has supported me throughout 2022, I thank you all so much. As I say, it's humbling and I appreciate each and every one of you. So take it easy, everyone. Have a great New Year's Eve. And I'll see you next year. If you've liked what you've seen, hit the like button. Feel free to leave a comment in the box below. Hit the bell icon for any future uploads. And above all, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please feel free to do so. It will cost you nothing and it helps the channel grow. And we'll become part of the bigger family, that bigger community. So, as always at this point, my family and friends, I will say, Namaste. May your God go with you. Bye for now, everyone. See you next year.